There we go. That's the good stuff. Um, I'm seeing like three candies. I'm also seeing two cigarette butts and what looks like a couple of pills. Oh, what? Some of the candies were pills. Who's throwing out perfectly good pills? Oh, that's not good. What's up guys, welcome back to Little Misfortune. And for today's episode, we're probably gonna die. Like, I still don't know if it's gonna be at the invisible hand of the satanic sounding Mr. Voice, or the fuzzy paw of our Fox Crush Benjamin. But either way, I don't see how this could possibly end well for Miss Fortune, even if she's using her most powerful stance. Well, the good news is all these people walking around in masks aren't nearly as creepy, considering it's Halloween all of a sudden, I think. I still don't know what Phantasmagoria is. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? You mean the ghost or the prostitute? Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Really? It can't possibly be a ticket? He gave you a ball that crushed a dog. And a shovel, which then dug up that dead dog, I'm pretty sure. He's giving you a whole lot of stuff. I think a ticket is well within his powers. And Jesus Christ, that's a terrifying clown. <laughs> Oh, you need all the sparkles. You can just go away. There we go. That's better. What exactly is this place? It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. That does not help. The word Phantasmagoria means less than nothing to me. It looks like some kind of creepy circus. Which I guess makes sense. She said she wanted a ticket to ride something. What? A ticket for real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet and spooky. You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. Right. A boat to the fox at Phantasmagoria for whatever reason. But if you gave me a ticket, aren't I supposed to use it at the ticket booth? Right? Is that a skeleton? <gasps> <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're just gonna comment on all the spooky things, right? Skeletons and, and ghosts. <gasps> A ghost? Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. For a satanic, monstrous, dog-squishing voice, you really seem to care a lot about light swearing. Damn is like the hell motto. We got to comment on the, yeah, okay, good. I was gonna say, we can't ignore the clown. <gasps> a creepy clown? That's creepy. The others look like they could be in an elementary school haunted house. This looks like it wants to eat you in a sewer. What kind of haunted circus has a boat? I still have no idea where we're supposed to find this boat. But we'll figure it out as we go, right? Mr. Voice should know. He wouldn't lie. Hey, from the other side. Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time, so try to make the right choices for her, all right? All right. I'm, I'm doing my best, man. What are you doing judging me? Hmm. I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. Okay, we're gonna scope out the land. We're gonna figure out which ride is for us, and... She should probably choose the boat, but he just said that I should make her have fun. But should I make her have fun? Because we don't really trust him. Ooh, hot dogs. Hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now I don't want to eat hot dogs. Oh, uh, what the hell? What kind of Tim Burton wet dream did we wake up in? What do you Whoa. mean, Jesus? Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. Yeah, if I shut her eyes, she means poop her pants or her skirt or whatever. Like I was trying to say, what are you 
Are you too good to eat raccoon meat? You, you saying you're too good for hot dogs? Can we please get away from all the tall men? Oh. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Voice is trying to make her afraid of Benjamin. Not gonna work. <laughs> He's so hunky and <laughs> handsome and an animal. I, I still don't quite understand that, but man, they're so weird. They're, they're huge, like, they've got to be like 50 feet tall. Another missing kid poster. Um, So we only have one ticket. We probably shouldn't go on the first ride that we see. Right? We can come back to the carousel. There's a bunch of older kids here, but all the younger kids seem to be missing. The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. The what? Nothing. Huh, okay. Rude! Miss Fortune does not have a pumpkin head, and she is far too good for hot dogs, but I can guarantee that she is not above eating garbage candy off the street. Ah, oh, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, oh, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hut to make my own mixed candy corn. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? Yes, we're really gonna eat some of it, okay? Because, like, I'll, I'll just say it right now. It's not a good idea. You should not eat fistfuls of stuff off the side of the road. You never know what's gonna be in there, but at the same time, I wanna do everything that Mr. Voice tells us not to do because I don't trust him, so eat all the candy. Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. There we go. That's the good stuff. Um, I'm seeing like three candies. I'm also seeing two cigarette butts and what looks like a couple of pills. Oh, what? Some of the candies were pills. Who's throwing out perfectly good pills? Oh, that's not good. Weird. Uh, my heart hurts. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. Happiness to Miss Fortune! <laughs> oh, much better. I thought for sure she was about to vomit and then pass out face down in her own vomit again, but I think we're good. That was really interesting. We've never seen her father before. We've only heard about him, but in that psychedelic dream, he was a straw man for whatever reason. We saw her mother's face. She's wearing a mask, which is to be expected. Horror house. Oh, this is another ride. Horror house, not horror house. Two very different things. I don't suppose we passed a horror house, did we? I think we should go here. Rich, she doesn't like getting spooked. And Mr. Voice said that she should have a good time, so we probably want to show her a bad time. Which means we should go in here? Oh, sweet. That haunted house must be terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? So you like haunted houses? Is that what I got out of it? I get the feeling we might stand a chance of meeting Benjamin in here, so that probably is better. Yes. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. The carousel is out in the open. Uh, I don't think there would be anything interesting over there. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a lot of hands and saws. She doesn't seem to be having fun. I, I mean, as much fun as anybody has on one of these rides. I don't know why people like getting scared. Good. I'm feeling this. 
You think you're going to puke? I don't want to, but the Roy went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath, and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. The boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. Really? So still no vomit, and... <laughs> Still, I, I thought for sure she would throw up some sparkles and, uh, you know, the remains of an ashtray, to be perfectly honest, but... Tera? Okay. She's talked about how she has a ghost friend. I didn't actually think that it was a ghost child's friend wearing an alien mask rather than being an alien. I don't know, man. She could have an alien friend. <laughs> She's got all weird stuff going on right now. There's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. Okay. I was going to say we're not going to shoot the fox, but they all seem to be very anti-fox. We have the lovely game of Massacre, <gasps> Whack a Fox, and that's it. Ooh. We could get our fortune told. This lady is creepy looking. Or the lovely game of vending machine, where we can get what looks like a metal uh, rock with a hat. Oh no, a hat for your rock. And uh, another one of those strawman dolls. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll sparkle you. There we go. Gotta do that. Is that all? I'm afraid I can only play one game. I don't want to go too far. Okay, I think that's everything. So we need to choose a game. I mean, I want to do my fortune. This is really cool. I, I miss fortune. But at the same time, I, I might need one of these items. Can we get something here? Check those sweet rewards. A golden chocolate coin, a cool tiny hat, and a doll. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm kind of low on reward tickets. I see, so we're gonna get tickets for playing the games, and then we can use the tickets to get rewards. So we need six to get everything. All right then, that shouldn't be too difficult. Would I get tickets for having my fortune told? Probably not. Do I need to sparkle you? I sparkle the other one. I don't wanna miss any. Just make double sure. Okay, tell my fortune. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? It looks like you need a reward ticket. Oh, uh, okay. We need seven reward tickets, so it means we got a whole lot of foxes to beat up. I'm guessing this is as good a place to start as any. It uses real bullets, which should this be interesting. One is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? I will. All right. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Bonsu. I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Oh. Did we win? Can I have tickets now? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna stick to Wacka Fox. Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Okay. Oh, I'm actually gonna play Are a game now. tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them, whack them. Okay. Should be easy enough, I suppose. Oh, oh, okay, and yeah, this this won't be any trouble at all. Okay, come on. We, we need to get all the, oh my God, it's so awkward. They're not at all where you would expect them to be. We got one ticket. So we just need to do that, like, Eight more times. Yes, I won. Great whacking misfortune. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm just gonna play this a bunch. I'll be right back. So as expected, this is the exact same thing over and over again, and it's not exactly a challenge. It's just kind of awkward. We're up and down. Don't control up or down. They control left or right, but that should be it. Right? We've got eight reward tickets. I can't imagine we need more. How do you feel about that, Mr. Voice? Good? Okay, I wanna see if I can get a balloon. Mr. Voice, 
Can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look! What's that? A floating balloon! Is it for me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, something about floating balloons like that. I don't know if we should take that or... Oh, we'll take it. Screw it. Oh. Ah, uh, here's my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Hmm. Strange. Okay, can you tell me my fortune now? I should have more than enough tickets. Sweet. A fortune teller. Can I try this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Miss Fortune, Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? I... Uh, I think I can afford to try again. Sure. Weird. Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Want to try it again then? No, I, I feel like if I keep trying, it's going to eventually say something interesting, but. Screw it, I don't care. Nah. Yeah, you, you, you're just saying random crap, stupid robot. <laughs> Give me all my prizes. I want everything. I, I want uh, you. Oh, one of those dolls again. I want it. Here we go. Uh, Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? Okay, so that was number five. I like the slayers. What did you choose? Nothing. Right, we're not telling him about the dolls. He can't see them, I guess? I don't know. Take the, the hat. <laughs> I know who will look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shut up! <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. I'm so happy I chose to take this stupid thing at the beginning of the game. I don't think we've ever actually used it, though. It doesn't come in really any handy, but it's fine. Get the stupid coin that as well. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. No more rewards for anyone else. Not like it matters. As far as I can tell, there are no more kids around. They're all missing. I'm the last one. You're good? I think we're good to move on. Let's see what's next. we got to find a boat. I still have... That stupid box to find. Oh, there we go. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Oh, how convenient. I have a golden coin. I was going to say, it's usually a coin to cross the river Styx, and that's usually not something that you necessarily want to do. I don't know how I feel about this misfortune. This seems dumb, to say the least. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got this sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? I mean, I guess. Is there anything? I, I hate when they give you the option to leave because it gives you the impression that there was stuff you could have missed. I don't think I could have missed anything other than the sparkles. It sparkled everything that I saw. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're just going to go. I don't want to eat any more pills off the street. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. 
Well, I'm more worried about all those birds in the background. That's a lot of crows. Ah, oh, Krakum. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Krakum, come up in front of me right now. Oh, what's a freaking Krakum? Hey. This place is very quiet. Yeah, he doesn't it's seem too talkative. To talk. Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, the only fish I know is buried. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doku desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I have never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late? Every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? I was gonna say, he's gonna drive her insane. Ah, uh, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? <laughs> oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. So if I hadn't fed the fish to that stupid drunk seagull in the sandbox, then I could have seen a kraken? That's endlessly disappointing. Man, oh, what a waste. Now I'm gonna wonder forever. Oh, that's a lot of kids stuff. What? <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like... What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me... I'll close my eyes. What would he want me to hide Ida? from? Weird. He wants me to hide from something? What could be coming? It's interesting because when we were down in the tunnel, we couldn't hear him when we were near Benjamin. It seems like he can't speak to us or influence us when we're near Benjamin. So what do you mean the Benjamin's coming? I don't know. I just saw Eero, but he's been by a couple times now, I think. I've seen ghost kids all over the place. <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? From the woods. Say hello. And now, say bye-bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. Where's his hat? He forgot his hat. He needs to make a good first impression. Come on, Miss Fortune. Oh, damn it. My little foot got stuck. That's not good. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh, 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 um. Maybe I don't press any buttons. Should I press buttons? I should probably. Do I want to press button? I'm not going to press I, I should probably press button. My indecision is going to get me eaten. I'm not going to press buttons. It's not going to get me, is it? It, it, was, it was never going to be able to get me. <laughs> what a nice evil hand. 
Oh, I love it when I just expose games like this. All right, fine, I'm breaking free. Oh yeah, now you take a swipe. God damn it. Away from? Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Maybe that was him? What you, you recording? make any sudden moves. I'm gonna get up. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, your boss. So soft. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Cool spear. Don't leave, Benjamin. Weird. Uh, Benjamin, what was with the spear? You see, he was nice. He's never attacked us. He seems cool. Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me. He's dangerous. Stop running, please. Stop to listen and Mr. Voice or keep running. No, I'm gonna keep running. We're not listening to him. Oh, 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 that's not good. That's a... What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh-huh. I know I could have been more specific, like there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt but I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? He did. I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. It's clearly a trap laid for Benjamin because it's in front of one of his rune stones that he, he used one of these to come through to our dimension. Okay, you need to get sparkled. You're much happier now <laughs> with your happy little mouth. My heart stopped there for a second. I thought she lost both of her feet. She's got such dainty little feet that I thought when it clamped closed, just took it off and she had stumps left. This is interesting. We've been taking that rune stone with us this entire time, and I wasn't sure why, but it looks like I can use it here to leave? Let's see what this one says. Every other time, it's just been information. We pop it in, it gives us some words. It's stuck, huh? Okay. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really interesting. So the beyond must be Mr. Voice if he's the Phil. Does that make any sense? I can't take it back, apparently. It's stuck. Ooh, we got uh, another doll with six. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing. Hmm. She said it was stuck, so I can't take it back, can I? You look, I might still need it. Huh. No, it's stuck. Okay, well, I guess that's the end of that. And it's not a portal. I thought we could go after Benjamin by, like, going out the same way that he came into our dimension. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Why do I get the feeling these questions have meant a lot more than I thought? Because this is the third time that he's asked us questions as we travel, and it can't be for nothing. Do you believe in magic? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on. Second question. Do you trust me? No. Nah, you're just 
just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with that silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway. Now, for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah, you're, you're way too British to be a demon. Far too formal. Are you afraid of dying? I mean, she's a child, so probably not, but... I'm gonna say yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like, too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know? Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Weird. Why would he, like, spray paint himself on the door? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> she is just so hot for this fox. What are the odds he's here? He's, he's gotta be here, right? Except we're not gonna run. If we see him, we're definitely okay. not running. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us, and everything will be fine. A pretty sweet place here. Look at that. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. This is... Strange. Whoa, a video player. Fonsu! I'm starting to think that this isn't Benjamin's place. What in woods? Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Oh. Maybe it is Benjamin's place because he had Maybe I can fix camcorder. It. Yeah, just there we go. Happiness to the video player. <laughs> All better. Ah, oh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Ooh, should we read Benjamin's diary? Oh, that's actually a really tough question because I don't know if it would matter or not. We do want to respect Benjamin because we want him on our side, but at the same time, we know nothing about him. I feel like learning stuff about him would be very important. Mm, we gotta read it, we gotta read it, I'm too curious. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. Just a little peeksy doodle. What, what do we got here? By Benjamin Johannalius Redfox. I knew his name was Benjamin. Huh. So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. Is what I trained to make. Nervous, but is okay. I has study and bigger confidence. I travel from Sinersdi to Pandora when fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. Interesting. So he left where he comes from to come here to protect the children. His boss being the Grim Reaper told him to do that. That's kind of what we had gathered already. So I thought. Barrels like you said? After a long walk in fog, I arrived city called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV, kitchen. I sleep sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Eight mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try find parasite. Did not find. Day one fail. So 
parasite must be Mr. Voice. Interesting. Who are the victims? What game? Then he's afraid of the parasite. That's a big old claw. Many victims gone missing in Parasite Game. Parasite Game. He does have us playing a game. I can't help. Feel sad. I sent a message to boss. Some victims not coming to D. I'm guessing that must be the afterlife. I see Parasite. It scared me. Also, not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas is not good. <laughs> Don't eat this mushroom again. Makes sense. I should probably read these first, right? She's commenting on what we've read. Mushroom, serious danger, not feel good, danger mushroom. I stay home, cut wood, do tea root soup, good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures if she sees them good. Parasite recognized. Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play, it has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow, now rest until stomach good. Oh, poor Benji. <laughs> Didn't even see the picture of the farting fox. So he ate bad mushrooms. He was a little sick. He couldn't really come help us that day, but he has been the one making the dolls for us. We're the victim. We're currently being watched by Morgo. Interesting. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victim in town. Morgo, no, I'm here. Mo Morgo, play old. Trick many times now, but it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. We're not supposed to be able to hear him. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape scary. That's Morgo. Hmm. Missing a voice? It's the monster. I'm so freaking happy I chose to read this. If I didn't actually read this, this would have been an absolute disaster. This is so much information and exposition. Boss sent me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside. Hid in trash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble, misfortune. Watch me. Strange. Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. Maybe love. Big trouble, misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. I'm assuming that Mr. Voice can't... Yeah, he, he said that he would keep an eye outside, so he doesn't see this, which is very important. I see Morgo play old trick again. Victim don't realize all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop Parasite this time. I send many victims to Sinersdi. I got level 2 protector. I confident. Now I has primeval illumination cane. Okay. So he saved a lot of children and he got a promotion. So he got that sweet spear cane thing. Oh, my again. Oh, shake up and your stick. Okay. I try primeval illumination cane in woods. Fun. I feel courage practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm encouraged now. I scared only a little. Hmm. Yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I message boss. I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Repair breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I ready. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. Yep, can't be marrying no unemployed loser, Fox. Very good. That was a lot of information. That pretty much just solidified the entire game. <laughs> it's crazy that we could have missed out on that. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> the meaning of love? When hatred wants to be loved? The fun stories of a boring man, the upside of being a spirit animal, communication key to cooperation, learning how to be gray, death after life. It's interesting that he speaks English, but it's like a little, little off, you know, it's like box English. Oh, he's got music. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that off for now. I, I don't want him to find us. I don't know if he'd be too happy we'd poke around in his stuff. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Different hat than the one out front. There's his paint. We can't look at any stuff in the foreground, can we? I can't move around. It's only the stuff that we pass, I guess. Oh! <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. 
We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Oh, interesting. The paw that we saw in our psychedelic dream was his. It, it was fox-ish. I didn't think it was, but I guess I've never seen a cartoon fox paw. So he's here. He's you here. Can't hide the children. Oh, uh, follow Benjamin. Definitely follow Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Uh huh. Uh huh. He disappeared. What? Benjamin, Benja oh, he went downstairs, okay. I thought he just spooked, whoa. Big footsteps. No vomit. Benjamin, where do you go? Where are you? Why do you have a weird little torture cave? Oh no, is this Benjamin? He's just been, like, losing fur? Oh. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Well, we're going through. I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Oh, do we need like a stool or something? There's, there's a stool back here. Here we go. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just get through because there's some kind of demon on the roof. Time to use my ninja skills. All the ninja skills. Go, 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 go. You're being way too slow. It can figure out a basement. Shh. What a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. <laughs> quiet down, tiny butt crack. Benjamin, are you here? He's got a lot of weird stuff in his basement. Like, what the hell? So it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I thought. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Okay, no, that's the opposite of what I thought, actually. I thought Mr. Voice had put it down to catch Benjamin, but Benjamin has been putting down traps to try to catch Mr. Voice. We've seen a trap from Mr. Voice that caught Benjamin, though, didn't we? Or maybe that hole that he was digging in the woods was meant to catch Mr. Voice. I don't know. The context is really difficult to decipher, but people are definitely trying to catch each other. Okay, we go back there, but there's stuff. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. Okay... My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. We probably can't open that door until we get the key behind the picture of the key, let me guess. That, that sound about right? Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. Always. <laughs> A secret button. Okay, that works for me. Let's push that button. Not even gonna try to open the All door. Alright then, I push the button. Benjamin will appreciate that. I mean, he was the one who abandoned me. If he's trying to save me, then why did he take off? Okay. Is that a portal? That was easy. Yeah, right? All right. Time to find Bangy. I think that's oh. a portal. I... Oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things got better when I got the eternal happiness. Her okay, nose. Fortune. Let's finish this. Must be so flat. <laughs> yeah, get come up, on. Misfortune. Get up. Get, get up. You are stronger than you think. Hur hurry now. There's you demons. Been down before. <laughs> stop mumbling into the dirt. Come on. Did you let that stop you? Oh, okay, we don't need the motivational speech. Just come get on. Get up, misfortune. You can do it. Come on. Oh my god. Because. Why is this so much more difficult than escaping a giant hand? Because. Because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. Yay. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, we're going through this. <laughs> we All right, let's get out of here. Like, I, I don't know. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? 
Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Maybe not a portal. Maybe just an exit under his house? Ooh. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Dream come true. Huh. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> oh, they were saying something about dreams and desires and stuff like that. Interesting. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. Or he's preparing to fight. Ooh. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. <laughs> well, she figured it out, so good for her. Here we go, all better. Uh, let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Yeah, that would be helpful. We definitely need him on our side. Oh! Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. Oh! <laughs> Very cute! At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? We did make a deal, even if you forgot. What is this? Oh, this is really mysterious. For students of the University of Senaresed, I, I can't pronounce that. Technology Protector Course, three-step guide, three-step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Okay, this is probably important for us to understand. Introduction. As the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituent free five realms of essential existence have appeared. After the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyond. Interesting. So it's not necessarily Satan and demons and hell, but it's something else. Something similar. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the Ultra Reality before the Ultra War. The Beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, aka our reality, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond, aka us. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into Cenarisdi. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector must return to Cenarisdi. The protector will be rewarded with the new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. So Benjamin returned some victims, and he got uh, an upgrade, a promotion, the new staff, all that kind of stuff. Step one, the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case, Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. Okay, let's see if we need assistance. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. Not 
Really, we know who we are. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. Kind of? I mean, we're screwed, but we don't realize it. Does that count? The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. Okay, that's a big check. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. It's also kind of true. The parasite. Yeah. Checklist of Parasite Morgo. One, deforms reality into absurdity. Two, Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victims to play dangerous games. Three, it shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. Four, it quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Five, large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Yeah, that definitely fits the bill, all right. Step two, use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. That's weird, we were already pretty aware beforehand and I don't think we we're supposed to be able to hear him, right? That was, was that in this or the diary? We definitely saw that somewhere. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase its awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. Oh, that's why he keeps running from us. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Paint? I like to paint. So we're not on step three yet because we're not dead, but he's kind of directly interacted with us. Very weird. Oh no, step three, prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Something tells me he ripped off this page and left the rest because this is what's important? <laughs> Very good. Well, we learned a little bit more about our friend, Mr. Voice. <laughs> you still there, Mr. Voice? Morgo? I think I'm gonna start calling you Morgo. It seems more fitting. You're not really a Mr. Voice anymore. Strange, extra dimensional thing. So he is following us. Preparing for contact with who? All right, I guess I'll take the train back home. Yeah, something tells me Morgo is not gonna be too pleased about that. There's one of those drawings. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Couldn't have been a little bit more specific, could he? I guess we just gotta wait. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna talk to myself. Strange that we haven't... So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> so this isn't an illusion from Morgo. This is just her imagination because she's a child. <laughs> and I'm guessing she can't tell the difference between the two. Still don't know what's up with our little alien friend. Oh, I wish I had my coloring book with me. We uh, had to leave it behind. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! 
I wish I spoke Japanese. I don't know what that means. Um, you know what? I said that I would cover my eyes if you scare me again, but I'm gonna help Iro. I wish I had written down what he said. I could translate it. I need to know what it means. It's probably important. Oh, there's, there's got to be a way. Can, can you repeat yourself, Hiro? Where did you go? I hope I get to see Hiro again. Me too. I wonder what that monster did to him. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh... At least you learned a lesson. Could you kick a can the whole way home? I mean, I really want to look that up. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's where I am. Oh. Just, just a little bit. Okay, I, I need to look this up. Apparently what he's saying is, where is the fog? I'm guessing that means that he died and hasn't reached the afterlife. He, he's just stuck here roaming around and can't figure things out. You guys look like trouble. Hi. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well... If that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Oh! I just realized that Mr. Voice isn't talking to us anymore. Interesting. She's like, practically invisible, right? I don't think anybody in this game has ever interacted with her but Mr. Voice. Oh, no. We're home. Last time we tried to cross his streets, things did not go well. All right. Well, we crossed alive. That's a good first huh, step. Where's the car? Yeah. Is Daddy gonna go? That's probably for the best, to be perfectly honest. Oh, the pool is gone as well. Maybe we went to clean it out. It was full of poop. Oh, this does not look good. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. We got red lights. I like them. That's a trap and a half if I've ever seen one. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Everything is gone. Did they leave? Is this an illusion? Why do I hear What's eating that noises sound? of a monster? Benji? I hear monster eating noises. There's, there's no, no. Let me guess, it's coming from our bedroom. Hello? Mommy? Bangi? What happened here? Good question. Congratulations. You reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. Listen, Mr. Voice, I got a really sore throat as well. I'm getting sick. But your voice is just going all over the place. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. The beginning of the game again. Sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. 
Stop ruining this. Mm, eternal happiness. Don't make no the deal. deal. No deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to wait. What? No deal. None. <laughs> None. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure. Sure. I promise you know the way. I am not gonna go there. I'm gonna go in here. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Okay, good to know. We'll we'll do that. Huh, is this a new dance song? Okay. Believe that playing. Why not? I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. The music is not doing well. That's creepy. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. Everything is back. The vase is fixed. We'll shift to... Okay, so we're gonna run, break it. Uh-huh. Can we get up and save it? Get up and save it. Get up and save it. Get up and save it. Stop, stop, stop. stop. You learned. Mm. Oh, no. Not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ma, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Okay, yep. I'm going back to no going going back to my hidey hole. Yep, you can't no not interested. Go away. No. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. The only thing that's left, so there must be a reason. Go, 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 go. There's a lot of crows. Open this door. Right now, Miss Fortune, nah. we have a new game to play. I'm good. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Pass, Tommy. Teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right, just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. Hit him with the rock. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! Rock might not do anything. I take it back. Don't hit him with the rock. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. your mind to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. <laughs> You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, you're such a bully. Oh yes, level two, Protector Fox with Benjamin. his staff. <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you Oh, can yeah. She belongs to me. You're going down, Morgo, you parasite.
Things are looking more normal now. Will there be vomit? No. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? Is anybody around? There's another doll. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Good advice. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Yeah. Look outside for Benji. Benjamin, did you go outside? I wonder if anybody's going to be here. Like, we haven't seen our parents in a while. Benjamin, where are you? Oh, good. The vase is here. It's fixed. So we know that we're back in some kind of reality, at least. Just the way we left it. Um... Can't have gone far. Her cigarette's right there. October 11th. When did we leave? Mommy? I can't remember what the date was. I'll be around here somewhere. Okay, the poop pool is back. The car is back. Hey! Mommy! I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? She's dead. What's happening? Mommy? That's why nobody can see her. This must be a bad dream. She's either talking to the police officer about our death or our disappearance, but it's our death. So when we crossed the road at the beginning of the game and he appeared to us and spooked us, we were struck by a car! Is that... Oh no, what have I done? So he's gonna take us to Cinerizibibibibi. The actual Benji, afterlife. Wait, are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Benji, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. My sparkler? I wanna... No, I can't hit her with the sparkles! I wanna make her happy! <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's my dad? Oh, you're totally gonna get a promotion for this, Benji. Way to go, bud. Guess we're leaving. the ultra reality because it looks kind of crappy i expected better you know needs to be more ultra <laughs> just 
looks like a forest fire. You don't talk much, do you, Benji? Is it the snoot? Oh! Oh, Puppy! I'm so happy to see you again. Wait for me, Puppy. Yay! I'm sorry I smushed you. The pinecone goblins again. I remember them. Weird. Are we gonna go see the Grim Reaper? Going back to your boss? Oh. Not that Grim Reaper. Yeah, that was like his, his bug friend or bug cosplaying as him, maybe. <laughs> Stupid little dog. Oh. Why are we seeing weird creatures? I'm so confused right now. You see, the head swinging from trees doesn't give me a sense of heaven. <gasps> oh. Okay, that was kind of fancy and cool. I like that. Burning skeletons picking berries off of trees. Quite what I would expect. Oh, there's the fog. Hero's looking for the fog. Oh, this place is really cold. Yeah, that's death for you. Can I talk to you? I'm gonna pet you. Sorry I didn't pet you more earlier. You know, the whole smushing thing, it was probably the highlight of this series. That's an ugly Christmas tree. Oh! Oh, it's the sparkles! Please tell me I didn't miss them. Did I get them all? I feel like I got them all. Yeah! I got an achievement! Sparkling lady! Is that a good thing? Will that have to change the ending? We got a doll out of it. What does this say? All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. So we can't find us in the fog. Huh. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Benji, I don't know how I feel about this. This you know, fortress lair. <laughs> Kinda looks like his face. I like the hourglass eye, but I don't think I want to go in there. Hello. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. I expected you to be a dude. Interesting. What is this place? Good question. Castle Grayskull was my assumption, but I don't think He-Man is going to show up anytime soon. <laughs> Look how fancy that is. Ooh. They're, they're doing a thing. What are they doing? Okay. Bye. The hell? I really like that. I got an achievement called Eternal Happiness. So because we got all of that happiness throughout the game, and I'm really, really happy I didn't miss one now, we got to give that to her when we left. Oh, that's so cool. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for Little Misfortune, guys. And I wanted to say, you know, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Honestly, I say that at the end of a lot of series, but I went into this thinking people aren't gonna watch it. 
It, it found it, and it looked like a really cool little game, and I would have a lot of fun playing it, but story-based Let's Plays, you know, kind of vanilla-ish walkthroughs don't do well on YouTube. People want funny moments. People want fast editing and, and quick clips and highlights and that kind of stuff, and that's what my channel's built around. I haven't played stuff like this in a long time. I gave up on stuff like Life is Strange because people didn't watch it, and I ended up not really enjoying it, but this was a huge surprise. This was a super cool little game. I really liked it. People really supported it. The videos did incredibly well, so just thank you guys for that. And if I find more games like this, then I'll be sure to check out some of them eventually. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.